Hello everyone. You'll learn more about today's remarkable tale about human friendship in the paragraphs that follow. Home pets for some people include cats, dogs, fish, and guinea pigs. However, the kind of pets well discuss in this account, absolutely not one of your friends has. Devesh Adivasi, an Indian youngster of seven years old, village of Patad in Madhya Pradesh. The boy was an absolutely typical youngster, plain. He was friendly with his peers, occasionally mischievous, and not the least bit weird. But the boy's extraordinary dream caused everything to alter dream. Devesh observed numerous snakes. Even though the youngster was only three years old, that dream had a big impact on him. When his parents learned about the incident, they became very concerned. But they were unsure of how it would turn out. Devesh entered the woods after having an incredible dream with numerous reptiles that the youngster was not at all terrified of. Additionally, he didn't leave empty-handed. The youngster had brought home something that just startled the villagers, but especially the boy's parents. Devesh brought back two king cobras from the bush. The boy was overjoyed, too. The snakes were a delight to hold in Dusha's hands as they moved over his body and toward his face. It was quite terrible to watch, but the youngster didn't seem the least bit terrified. Instead, he was actually relishing his interactions with potentially harmful reptiles. They got along great. His parents made an effort to talk to their kid in order to discourage him from the odd bond. But the boy was unreceptive to their advice. He started to venture into the woods more frequently, emerging frequently carrying fresh snakes. Though he frequently brought home very toxic ones, sometimes they were safe. Devesh bathed them, played with them, and even shared a bed with them. And the young man had no fear of reptiles whatsoever, instead, he referred to them as his friends. The father of Devesh narrates, we clarified why snakes snakes cannot get along. It's risky, but he won't pay attention to us. Amazingly, despite spending a lot of time around snakes, the boy has never been bitten by one in all these years. Fifteen reptiles have become close friends with Devesh. The same pattern is followed each time. The boy into the woods, finds one to three reptiles, and brings them home. After a few days, he releases the snakes back into the wild after playing and conversing with them. Devesh is completely at ease because he knows that his friends won't harm him. The boy's source of confidence is unknown, but thus far, he appears to be okay. According to Devesh, he has a special bond with the three reptiles who frequently visit him to socialize and enjoy a great meal. The boy's association with snakes initially startled the townspeople, but with time they became accustomed to this odd bond. Some even contend that the youngster possesses a unique talent that truly embodies divine power. Devesh walks down the street with snakes, but the locals won't let their kids play with him. Additionally, I can understand the parents. At the same time, the doctor at the neighborhood hospital thinks the boy should avoid such contact with snakes. He advised the boy's parents to prevent their son from developing an attachment to reptiles because they cannot be kept as pets. Despite this, there is a good likelihood that the snake will still bite the youngster or a nearby person at some point. It must be acknowledged that strange friendships with snakes are a huge rarity but nonetheless a common occurrence. Children of the Wadi tribe in India start playing with cobras at a very young age in order to become snake charmers. Nobody knows how many of the infants pass away from the bite. These are the uncommon ways that people and animals can be friends. We can only pray that the boy won't suffer any harm and that his friends don't accidentally cause his death. Friends, that's all for now. Post this incredible tale on social media. Well talk soon.